We are online right now. Sweet. I know, right? Uh, and now you have that really cheesy smile on your face. Just like, hey, world, I'm on the internet. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am on the internet. You are on the internet. Um, <clears throat> but, you, so, but you've been on the internet before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. you're in the trailer. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm in the trailer. You had a bigger beard then, though. I shaved it, obviously, because uh, there's nothing. You there. shouldn't have shaved it. If uh, everyone automatically loses respect for a man that shaves his beard. Oh, I, I, ha I haven't lost respect for you. I'm just waiting to give you give it back to you whenever you grow the back the beard. If you don't know what we're talking about, uh, he is one of the actors in my uh, short film, Ron vs. Dan. Uh, it's, it should have been out this September, but uh, it's the release date it has been canceled due to te technical difficulties in post-production. So uh, go to Force Power Studios on YouTube. Just look up Force Power Studios or youtube.com slash Force Power Studios and uh, look at the trailer. It's awesome. I'll leave a link down in the description. It's really awesome. Yeah, definitely. Get to see us cast spells like epic wizards. Yeah. Actually, I got a comment uh, from someone on Facebook. and uh, I put it on Facebook, too, you know, on the Force Power Studios Facebook. And uh, they said, you guys look like a bunch of gay wads uh, waving your wands around. And I said, who said that? I don't know. I, didn't, I don't know the guy. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Just uh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. It got it's marked as spam, though. Time. You know the all right, You know how like all the like vulgar comments you see on the internet, and like none of them get spammed. Well, not mm -hmm. spammed, but like marked as inappropriate and stuff. Yeah. That one got marked as inappropriate. Yeah. Out of like the yeah, millions you're, you're of vulgar comments. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, someone's actually giving that button some use. You're definitely bullshitting me about that twenty-five-year-old parrot, dude. No, no, I'm not. I want to see a video. Okay, I will send you a video. Yeah, he's now, got a 25... Wait, I have, my grandparents have a 25-year-old parrot that still has all its colors. It's missing feathers on its back and a little on its wings, but it can still walk fine, and it's still extremely loud, and it can still fly. And so... I'll yeah. be surprised if it's, like, in, like, high-definition multicolor. <laughs> And not yeah, like, and it's not black and white and brown, <laughs> dude. I seriously thought, well, all right, back in, the, I, I, I know this now that par that like parrots don't fade colors, but back in the days where I actually like thought, um, I actually thought parrots like <laughs> faded the older they got, like their colors faded. Oh yeah, I, I never put any thought into that. Yeah. See, when I was a child, I overthought everything. Like, people would say, hey, Daniel, come play in the sandbox. And I would stand there for like five minutes and say, okay, do I want to play in the sandbox or do I not want to play in the sandbox? I mean, I, I love playing in the sandbox, but I don't want sand in my shorts because last time that happened, I had a rash and that sucked. So, I think I'm going to go play on the swings like a gay kid. Dude, back in the day, no one played on the swings. But back in my day, at least. I played on the swings. I never played on, like, well, I played on the swings, but no one else played on the swings. Or maybe it was just me. Like, I would go on the swings, and then everyone would, like, leave and run on the swings. No one swung on the swings, but as soon as they hung around the swings, it was like a little club. And so when I would go over there, I'd just start swinging on the swings. Everyone would look at me and just go, like, fag and walk off. <laughs> I was always the monkey bar kid. I would always uh, try to see how many bars I could skip with one swing. This guy but is, like, six foot twelve. If you didn't catch that at seven feet, for you dumbasses out there, I love Arby Sweet Tea, dude. I love Golden Corral Sweet Tea. I've never had their Sweet Tea. Oh, dude, it's my favorite Sweet Tea in the world. I like their steak. They they have a really good steak cooks. Dude, I just like everything from them, actually. <laughs> That's like my my buffet place. <clears throat> they have everything there. Like anything you could ever want, it's there. Even a 25-year-old parrot. You bring the parrot to Golden Corral? <laughs> no, no. Only on those lonely days. <laughs> oh. They just walk in with a 
parrot on your with a twenty five year old parrot on your shoulder. Uh, it's too mean to do that. Someone punched you in the eye that day, so you have an eye patch. And so it all works out, huh? That's some classic pirate right there. Yeah. All the way. All right, like the buffet. All right, like the buffet. The other night, uh, like last weekend, the other night, not the other night as in last night or the night before last night, because that's really what the other night means. No, the other night as in last weekend the other night. Which made absolutely no sense, but that was my... Yeah, that made no sense at all. But that's my psychology in order to uh, confuse you into listening into me further. I'm taking the psychology... So I still don't know what that you're talking about. My psychology class told me that if you confuse someone, it'll make them listen more in order to find a solution. And so the more I confuse you, the more you listen. Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Actually, that was complete bullshit, but it actually worked out in, in my advantage. Uh, if I get confused, then I, you know, it's just kind of like, wow, what is he talking about? I guess I should just pretend like I know and keep listening to what he's saying. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I can bullshit my way through anything, I think. Dude, your dog barks room. so loud. You should, like, train your dog into thinking it's a rooster. Because then it could wake you up. I That's wonder if you can... alarm clocks. I, but alarm clocks are so overrated. I right, see. You can hit snooze on your alarm clock, and you can unplug your alarm clock. You can't unplug your dog. And if you can, you need to get checked out. <laughs> yeah, if your dog has an extension cord, there's some. <laughs> he either ate your toaster, or that dog's mother had like sex with the refrigerator or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's been happening lately. Animals and appliances. I don't see how they, they connect, but it's just happening, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to look up dogs with extension cords. Careful what you find. <laughs> Never just like randomly search for something on Google because you will always find something that you never wanted to see. Exactly. I learned that a long time ago. Yes, definitely. And I'm gonna, I wish I had an example for this because normally I have an example for something like this, but I don't this time. It makes me... Feel less of myself. That's okay. It's okay. I'll forgive you. This you know, I'm sure people watching this will be like, randomly look for something and not want to see it. I have to f try this. <laughs> <laughs> they'll look up like they'll look up like shellfish and iced tea and <laughs> yeah, chickens find, and microwaves. They'll find they'll find like a shellfish in the shape of a dildo or something. I don't know. Dude, anything mixed, any animal mixed with like a microwave or anything that lets off radiation is probably not going to be a good turnout. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Come here, nuke. <laughs> it's like an eight leg, eight leg chicken or something. Dude, are you wearing a domo shirt with a with something with glasses? Yes. Yes, I am. I saw the glasses and I saw it was brown. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see the rest of it, and I thought it's got to be a domo shirt. It is. Dude, we're... I drew him, by the way. You know we're both such hardcore gamers whenever we're sitting here. You're a domo and I'm a mushroom. We did that unintentionally? Yeah. Unintentionally. And see, now that we've it's said so, that, people... It's just how awesome we are. And though. see, now that we've said that, people are going to be like, they're bull****. And they plan this <laughs> Dude, trolls are everywhere. No kidding. Dude, I... Alright, you know you you know how small uh, Force Power Studios is? You know how, like, small it is? Yeah. I've already got trolls. No way. <laughs> Legit chopsticks. He's my troll. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I kind of forget about him. Yeah. He's my troll. Sorry, dude, but you, you are, if you're watching this, Jonathan Hang. Which you probably will. <laughs> Jonathan Hang, I'm sorry. You have good intentions. But you're my troll. Ask the YouTube Jesus for forgiveness. And YouTube Jesus would probably be like Ray William Johnson or something. <laughs> yeah, definitely, probably. Oh, Ray William Johnson, will you forgive me for I have been trolling? I pray to thee. I be trolling. Troll, Literally you. Just like, faking gay, faking gay. <laughs> troll, you are forgiven. And then the troll pops up. Don't make fun of Asians, Ray. And all of a sudden, Ray comes out and over with a gun. There, he's <laughs> dead so stop asking me about him i don't know but th I, that's where ray william johnson got his uh 
got his view, got his subscribers and views is from trolls. That's true. That that's what his whole channel's based off of is trolling. That was his first T-shirt. You be trolling. Yeah, that is true. And then his other channel, uh, Breaking Los Angeles. Yeah. At the very end, he says, "Keep on trolling," and then covers the camera. Yeah, because if you think about it, trolling is what keeps the YouTube going. Yeah. Because if there weren't trolls, then we would be we would get lax. We would become okay with the stuff that we have. If it weren't for trolls, we would never have the drive to do better things. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, you you make a point there. Yeah, definitely. Trolls do give people the, the anger to make their things better. Yeah. It's like, but I spent like 12 hours on that. How is it bad? It must be better. <laughs> and, and see, it, it, you know what? Like. And you know what? We have to thank Jonathan Hang for that. Yeah, because because of his, his trolling input, now you are making yourself better. Yes, because of him. I had to go back to the drawing board and redo like five different things on Ron vs. Dan. Holy sh**. Dude, I think that's the first time we've come around full circle. <laughs> that's, the, that's the first time we've actually gotten back to the original topic. How does oh that my happen? god. Oh, that's awesome. For those of you watching, all right, me and him have been having these conversations for like the past, I don't know, two months. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. pretty much ever since he left for Chicago. And uh, we've always got gone so far off topic that we can never remember what we did before. And this is a first-time deal, so this is huge. This you're is, witnessing history. You're witnessing history right now. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Did you just get mind f***ed right there? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't – I can't believe it. I can't believe it, it how so well it went. <laughs> it's just like uh, – Well – and what we talked about in between and nothing, it was just so far off topic and we still got back. All right, guys. Well, we have a little bit more footage than we can probably put on YouTube. So we're going to head out. See you next time. Peace.